Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Um, I did the thing. I finally dyed my hair back to my natural hair color. Um, bear with me throughout this video. I am getting over this cold that's going around. Um, I've heard from other people who have it that it's like a two, three week long cold where your voice sounds like crap, um, your head hurts, your body hurts. Uh, so not happy that I got that, um, but I tend to get every freaking cold that goes around. It is absolutely awful. My immune system is crap. Um, I don't take my vitamins every day, but I take them when I'm sick. <laughs> like that's gonna, I hope it's gonna do something, but um, I did go and get my hair done. As you guys know, I have been contemplating for a very long time going back to my natural because going from blonde to another color like you have to understand deep down that it is going to be really difficult to go back to that bright blonde um and also your hairdresser is gonna hate you um but i've been wanting to do it for so long since at least last year i kept going into my appointments like i'm doing it this time and as soon as i would sit in that chair i was like you know what never mind just touch up my roots like and i never bit the bullet to do it um my hairdresser actually was gonna go on maternity leave um so i had her very last appointment and of course the department of health walked into my door at work and um i have a management position so at my facility we are not allowed to leave until the department of health leaves therefore i was there every day till six seven o'clock at night um which i knew was going to happen so monday i had to text her and be like hey listen i'm not going to be able to make it i'm so upset about it um can you get me in with your best friend which my best friend used to get her hair done with her best friend so i was like okay i trust her she's been doing it for long enough um so unfortunately my hairdresser wasn't the one who had the pleasure of turning me back to my natural color um it was her best friend but i did really like her as well she did a good job i think um i washed it for the first time last night so i went almost a week um without washing it um which is pretty impressive but I finally think I found a dry shampoo that I like and it actually like keeps my hair looking clean for the longest amount of time and also like makes it feel not as greasy like my head's not itchy like it is whenever it's super greasy <laughs> and like gross but honestly I can't wait to show you guys that dry shampoo and it empties because I bought a backup and I love it I don't love the application of it but it is so good and it makes me feel like I don't have to wash my hair, but I did wash it because, um, well, because it was dirty, but um, when she was doing my hair, she told me that it was like a demi semi permanent color. I don't really know what that means. I know I box dyed my hair like a while ago um, and I like when I was like 16, 15 and I used like a semi permanent and like I did wash out, but I think from a salon, it might be different. I don't know, but she said that if I wanted to go back to like I don't I didn't really understand but apparently if I didn't like this it would be somewhat possible to go back to a blonde I don't know if as bright of a blonde I have no idea how this works but um when she did it I thought it was very dark and she had said you're gonna see that it's very very dark it's gonna be shades darker than your natural because it's going to wash out so I was really intrigued to see what it looked like when I washed it and honestly like it had a red tint to it which honestly I feel like a lot of dark hair colors especially when they go over blonde they have like this red hue because that's like the pigment I think that will stick to the blonde um it doesn't look as red to me now which is good um I still think it's darker than my natural because my natural was a light brown and when I was outside in the sun like I looked back at pictures before I did this of like what my natural hair color looked like and I had so many natural highlights it's crazy like I never like realized that when I had that hair years and years ago um but I did so it is a lot lighter brown naturally with those highlights so it's makes it look even lighter because I had blonde pieces like around my front just naturally which is crazy um so this is not my natural that's why I keep putting quotes around it um it is going to grow out I'm hoping that it grows out and I don't have like a line from like the dark to the light but I was expect I don't know why I was expecting it to like w like wash out wash out like a decent amount it didn't which is fine I'm just getting used to it I don't think I liked it at first. I'm still 
transitioning into liking it and seeing myself with this dark hair but um as you can see there are still like some highlights in it like baby lights that she had just like weaved out and didn't touch um and of course the toner like changed it but I told her I wanted like very gray looking um when I went in I said the room the the room the word mushroom hair I know every hairstyle or every hair color has its trendy name but I feel like mushroom is like a name that's been around for a while it's like that um brown gray like lived in it looks really pretty so that's what I asked for that's what I showed pictures of so I like that at the ends it is you know, not one solid color. I definitely wanted to leave some dimensions in my hair and I think she did a really good job. Um, I was gonna style it, but uh, I get in the shower and like, I feel like I'm gonna pass out because of my sickness. So when I get out of the shower, like I don't want freaking heat touching my head for 30 minutes because I will pass out. <laughs> I just, I'm trying to get over this. And now that I'm like talking, I still sound bad. <laughs> but yeah, so um let me know how you feel about it I feel like it makes my face look more round but also I think that's just an I mean I think it does but I also think that I look a lot younger and that's what people at work told me I do look a lot younger <laughs> um somebody actually told me my face was puffy too but that's I think because I'm sick as well I don't know maybe I just put on 10 pounds or something I don't know but my eyebrows feel super dark and I have been filling them in um, just like a little bit, but yeah, I don't know. It, it's definitely like a new look, I think. I don't know if it's super noticeable, but another thing that I really wanted was like my eyes to pop. And as soon as I got my hair done, my hairdresser is like, your eyes look so freaking blue. And I'm like, that's what I wanted to hear because I know I'm rambling a lot about this, but I just missed you guys. Um, uh, I've just done like a lot of research on like hair and stuff through TikTok, if that's considered research. Um, but I've come to realize, and I think this is a good, like, thing to realize. Honestly, you can get your hair done and it probably looks great. You know, I thought the blonde looked okay. I just hated that I always felt like it was brassy, even though I know it didn't look brassy to other people. I just felt like I could never get a blonde enough. But also, I don't like too much blonde because it washes me out really bad. I'm wearing foundation today, but... I felt like the blonde, super blonde, washed me out, but I felt like my hair was never blonde enough, if that makes sense. I didn't want to add more blonde to it. I just wanted it to be brighter. I think it was already pretty bright. Like, now that I go back and look at pictures and stuff, I'm like, wow, it was really pretty. But I, I don't want to go back to that. I'm not saying that at all because... I'm glad that I don't have the maintenance like I once had, which wasn't even that high of maintenance for what I think a blonde probably does. I, you know, I'm kind of lazy when it comes to things, but um, I'm using a new shampoo that is good for my hair and it's making it feel good, but I just couldn't style it. So sorry, this is just how we're rolling today. Um, but what I was getting at, uh, you technically are going to look the best with your your most natural like your hair color like you change it but when you go back to your natural like that's your color that's how your skin your eyes your hair like all are cohesive that's what you were born with so going back to like brown it's definitely an adjustment but i think it makes my eyes pop they look so much better my skin like it all like it is really it's it's dark. My hair is dark. So um, it'll look, my skin will like look better and more cohesive with the light brown, if that makes sense. But I'm working with it. I'm excited to like curl it. It was curled after I got it done, but like curl it and just like love my hair and protect it. Keep it like nice and healthy. Use better hair products I was kind of going back to the drugstore stuff which isn't awful I just know it would strip this color which is kind of what I want to do but also I don't want it to like look I don't know I'm kind of like I'm kind of enjoying how dark it is because I've always wondered what I would look like with like a shade or some shades darker than my natural so I don't know it, it you know I'm just trying to talk myself into it, but I do like it. Um, it's what I wanted with like the ends and the highlights, like they're they're kind of gray. She said to keep using my purple shampoo, which is one thing. Like I was like, I bought all this purple shampoo and now it's gonna go to waste. It won't because I will still need to use it. 
um, to keep the blonde pieces that are at the ends blonde. My coffee is cold because I've been running around the house doing stuff. I need to go. I have errands to run. I'm making myself have errands to run. I just don't want to sit here all day. I have, I know, I'm talking a lot, guys, but <laughs> I have like the rest of the week off till Monday because I worked a night shift. Um, so I technically only worked four shifts this week, but she was like, you can have the rest of the week off. Like, I don't care. I just need you like that night shift. So yesterday I did nothing but sleep, but that's fine. I'm just trying to make the most out of the days I have off and tomorrow I'll probably do like more house stuff because I have I need to take down my Halloween decorations, redecorate, organize, put away some stuff. Um, I have a lot of stuff to do with the house too. But let's get into it. This is my empties video. So if you skipped ahead, you know, that's fine. Um, my empties this month, I will say, are probably the most disappointing yet this year don't don't click off the video bear with me next month is going i'm telling you right now next month is going to or this month november is going to be a banger like it is going to be probably the most empties i've ever had because i you know don't you don't do project use it ups anymore so i've just been using what i've wanted to my shower has like six shower gels that are less than halfway done right less than halfway full I'm going to finish up so many shower gels, also body creams, so many body creams, mists, so many mists that have like a quarter of the product left that I'm just going to fly through them within these next one to two weeks. I am going, oh, again on vacation, <clears throat> we're going to Florida on the 11th and then for a week. So I am going to take some like summery stuff. So that's kind of going to put a pause in it, but I think that's okay because of how much I have to use up here at home and I think there's 31 30 days in November um so next month's gonna be crazy I did do pretty well this month but just not as much as I usually do so yeah let's just get into it so the first thing here I have a wallflower I just swapped this out so the one that I put in is the sweet whiskey that's the tag I have on here I always put the old tags on to the finished up bottles that were on prior because I'll lose them otherwise and that's just how I talk about it. So I don't know what sweet whiskey's like either but this one I do remember was Wicked Vanilla Woods. I had it in my kitchen and it was so good. It was so good. It was strong. I always burn candles and melt wax and do all the things so it never really had its moment to shine which I kind of like get upset about it in a way but also when I'm working so much, because I was, like, especially when the state was there last week, when I'm working a lot, I feel super upset when I come home to a house that smells like nothing, um, because my husband's out milking at the farm, he can't light a candle, I don't have time to light a candle, I just have enough time to come home, cook, shower, and go to bed. So, I like using wallflowers for the fact that when I walk in my door, I do get that little whiff, and it does make me feel like, okay, I'm home, in my home of, like, yummy scents because I love fragrance in all aspects so I did enjoy this I would repurchase this scent because it was really good but yeah I swapped it out and now we have sweet whiskey okay I have some wax melts thanks to my husband he's been like loving wax melts because I got this little pumpkin thing um jack-o-lantern wax warmer from Aldi I love it it's so cute kind of sad I have to put that away um and then I got a new one from also from Aldi get your wax warmers at Aldi they're a good deal and they always have cute ones I'm excited to see if they have any for Christmas because I will definitely pick one up I've been a lot more into making my home feel cozy I need a couch still which maybe I'll go to the freaking furniture store today um I wish Jared could go with me but it's so hard to like get our evenings together to like go into town everything we go in at like eight o'clock when everything's freaking almost closed and we can only go to like one store so anyways he's been helping me put these in, use them up, change them out when they're, you know, done. So these are my friend's um, company. She said that she's kind of like falling out of it. Like she doesn't really sell stuff. So she's kind of like lost interest a little bit, which is really sad because this stuff's so good. Um, her company is Countryside Wax Co from Martinsburg, Pennsylvania. Um, so if you want to look that up, I'm sure her website's still active and she would be super happy. But these are so good, like so good. And they're very inexpensive. Um, so blueberry pancakes, oh my gosh, so good. I've really been burning through, you'll see in this, I've been going through blueberry scents. I finally have my scent back, which is good. I was waiting for that for this video too uh, because I couldn't smell anything. I was so stuffed up. But yeah, this was so good. I 
I've used all of these and now the ones that we have in are this pumpkin caramel pie. Yeah, this is so good. It, I've been burning pumpkin pecan waffles. This pairs great with it. I've been burning some like coffee scents, also great with this. Like I've just really enjoyed them. They're so strong and I get a really long like life out of them. Um, I have an air wick. The, I use these in my bathroom. This was the apple one, apple spice or something. These are really good. They're strong. I like them. I bought a bunch of packs when they had like deals on Ibotta because I love like the cashback apps. Um, so I have some more of these to go through. These in the pumpkin scent. So I've been enjoying them, but I just put them in like rooms that I don't have like a wallflower plug for. Um, cause like I keep like my fancy wallflower plugs out in the kitchen cause that's where you can see them. Uh, so yeah. I've been putting those in the bathroom and like rooms that people don't really go into. People go into my bathroom, but you don't need a pretty wallflower plug in there. Okay, I finished up a mini fine fragrance mist. I actually just finished this up this morning. I have a little bit left. So this is from Bath and Body Works. It's Merry Christmas Ice Cinnamon Rolls. This is a little mini. The color was green, so that's kind of scary. When I put it on my wrist, I could just see the green drip down. Um, I hated this when I first started using it. I've had it like, you know, at work with me in my work bag, back at home. I've been trying to use this for probably four months. Um, I did not like it because it has that like orange scent to it. It's like ice cinnamon rolls, but with an orange. And that's just freaking weird to me. If I want a gourmand, I want a gourmand. Keep the fruitiness out of it. But now that I'm starting to like get my smell back, I was using this kind of to like it, well, it was in a project before. So actually I've probably been trying to use this up for like over a year because you know it's old and it's been in my collection if it has a line on it. <clears throat> now that I'm getting my smell back, I've been using it to kind of like, because I didn't have a smell, I'm like, oh, I won't hate this as much because I can't smell it. Maybe it does smell good on me, I hope. But once my smell started coming back and I was like literally like couple uses away from, why is my neck red? Um, I was a couple uses away from like finishing it up. I actually like it. Granted, my smell's not 100%. It's probably like 45 right now. Maybe that's why I like it, but it's not so bad now. I might have one more of these, but I would not repurchase. Okay, some candles. Blueberry pumpkin. This is what I was talking about with that. I still have like four videos that are in my like queue that need to be posted. I will have blonde hair in those videos. And yes, I know they're old. I'm talking about like Mexico and them and stuff. I'm just going to post them because I did put the time in to film them. I just don't really know what happened to where I didn't post them. But you guys will be seeing a Goose Creek haul because I've been so intrigued to try the brand. Um, they had a decent sale and I purchased like nine of them just to try them out. So this is my first ever Goose Creek empty in blueberry pumpkin i don't have scent notes for you because i don't even think they do them but this was so good this was so good it did i i'm kind of missing the pumpkin note but also i'm not because the blueberry was the scent that you got but it wasn't like blueberry sugar or um sugared blueberry pancakes from bath and body works it was its own scent and it was lighter in the blueberry but also very strong so i love this it performed great i have literally no qualms with it it is so good the packaging's cute um and i'm excited to burn the rest of my goose creek candles that i bought because i was very impressed with this i don't think it's really any different than bath and body works and i have so many bath and body works um so it's not like i would like switch to the brand i just they're not, I can get Bath and Body Works so cheap at the outlet and at SAS that like that's not like a repurchase after repurchase. Also, I was going through my candles last night and I have so many and I just haven't been getting through them like I want to. So yeah, um, these next couple days that I have at home, I'm just going to like power burn through some candles. Next, this took forever, like three months. This is the Huntington Home Cinnamon Latte. I have two more of these in my back stock finally finished this up this was a tricky burn for me and i who talked about this brew come here he is chewing on something what's new yeah it's probably the damn oh my gosh these damn dogs anyways so i forget 
I can never remember when this freaking camera comes in front of me. Somebody told, somebody said that they figured out, was it? I don't know. Somebody said that they figured out with these Huntington Home candles. I think it was Sinico the Diva. I'm pretty sure it was Sinico. Um, she said that you have to burn these candles for three hours. She found somebody found that if you burn them for three hours, they will finally pull out and that's how you will get the best burn. This is deceiving. This is all even right now. And I don't know how that even happened because to be quite honest, I never thought that would happen. It tunneled and would not pull out and the wicks were drowning and it was a pain in my ass. I had it downstairs and because it was giving me so much difficulty, I was like, I can't even enjoy this candle. It did smell good after two hours when it was finally like starting to pull out. But I ended up taking this upstairs and putting it in my bathroom because it would literally just little flickers. It wasn't even that pretty. I mean, it was pretty upstairs, but not down here. I just, I was so frustrated. So I'm kind of sad that I have two more. The scent is good. It is good. And I could smell it when it was in my bathroom. I could smell it when it was down here, but I just wish the burn was different. And I know, I believe, I'm almost sure that I bought Huntington Home when I first like started becoming obsessed with candles because I was like, oh my gosh, I can get Aldi candles for like four or five dollars. Like when they go on clearance and stuff, I just realized I didn't put deodorant on, I'm sweating. Um, <clears throat> when I realized I could get candles super cheap at Aldi and they had really cool scents and packagings, I know I bought them. And I don't, I would remember if I felt the way that I feel about this with those. So I don't think all Huntington home candles are crap. I like, <laughs> I don't want to say it's crap but it just was so frustrating and hard to get through um so I know it's it's probably not all of Aldi candles because like the one that I have for Valentine's Day that I'm super excited because I was like little hearts it's so cute I got it last year I will burn it this Valentine's Day that one has totally different wicks so like Bath and Body Works you can get different wicks different colored wax and all the things give you a different experience so I'm hoping I'm not saying I'm not going to repurchase. I won't repurchase this one if I were to see it again. I would probably get their seasonal ones if it was something that had a really cute packaging and that's why I was buying it. So let's just go with that. Yeah, this was like a two out of 10 for me because I was just <laughs> super irritated with it. Okay, a Bath and Body Works candle, Autumn Woods. This has notes of dark walnut, English lavender, and white amber. My no I'm getting more nasally as I'm talking, so I'm really apologizing for that. It's hard to breathe. Um... This was so good. This was so freaking good. The notes are something so new to me, especially like the combination of the notes. Like it was so good. I can't tell you another candle that has dark walnut or English lavender or white amber. I mean, amber, yes. Lavender, yes. But this scent was like such a good refresh scent. Like when you're burning your gourmands and stuff, even though it's like chilly outside, like... This was like a laundry day, like how you like refresh your space with like a laundry day or linen sheets or something like that. That was this candle for me, even though it was nothing like those, but it was a refresh scent to me um, to like cleanse my home or cleanse the air um, because it was like so different, but still fresh, but still like deep. It was so good. I really like this. I don't know if this is one they come out with all the time, but I would repurchase for $6 just because I rarely, rarely buy a 10 or a $12 candle. Um, here's a shampoo, or this is a conditioner. I'm still working on the shampoo. I love the scent of this. This is the Garnier Fructis and the Apple scent. I got these on a really good deal, so I was excited about them. The scent is amazing, 10 out of 10, love it. But the product, my hair was so greasy after like day one with a shampoo and conditioner when I use them together. So I've been using my shampoo that I've left as like my first wash and then my second wash is like my nice, like expensive shampoos so and conditioners. So happy to finish this up, but I would not repurchase. Um, I finished up these Pixie Collagen Tonic To Go pads. They were like a pad that was impregnated with like the um, toner. I did really like them. There was 60 in here. I felt like this took me like four or five, five months to go through because I didn't use them all the time. Um, but I like them. I'm using a pixie toner now. I have a ton of pixie toners because I used to be obsessed with them um, from they're really old, which is kind of embarrassing, but I'm getting through them. I am using one now and I like them. 
okay they, i don't think i don't see any like major skincare benefits that's what i'm gonna say but they're good they just make my skin feel like clean and supple i guess like but i don't see a huge difference like in the world of like acne or my pores or anything like that okay i have a tree hut this is in velvet coffee this is from last year i know they've come out with um new versions of the coffee and pumpkin spice so the the texture of this was amazing 10 out of 10 i love the texture of this it was so fine but like gave you the scrub it was so good the scent velvet coffee what what is velvet coffee so in my head because this is the only thing i know this did smell like velvet coffee um it smelled like coffee but not like straight coffee like coffee grounds it had a weird musky scent to it I have, I think, a couple backups because I got these on clearance at Ulta last year when they were like, when it was like the end of the season or whatever. So I will repurchase it and I will have no issue with that. But to say that I would like go to the store and pick this scent, unless it was on super clearance, I probably wouldn't. But the, the texture was really nice. So that's good. Jared, I'm so proud of him. He finished up a cologne. This is Leather and Brandy. He's had like three colognes on his nightstand for a, a long time, a hot minute. Um, and I reached over to like look. So I'm like, are you ever going to get through any of these? And this one literally had like this little bit left, if you can even see it. He finished it up because like none of it comes out anymore. This was really good. I love this on him. Um, I just watched a video where somebody said these don't last all day. He showers a million times a day because he's at the barn and then he's getting ready to go into town. So like they last from what I know, but this man showers like three times a day. So, and for that reason, you would think he would fly through like body wash. He doesn't because here's the body wash. You, you just have, we have like one a month, which I go through like three a month, not this month, but I can go through like three a month. So this is bourbon, super good love bourbon would always repurchase it's amazing it's amazing okay i have two products here in white pumpkin and chai i bought a bunch of these at the outlet in this packaging so i have a few more to go through uh, but i had this lotion that like didn't go with anything and i was like wait a minute i have a lotion and i have a mist so like let's use this it's pumpkin it's the fall time let's do it so i do have a little bit more in here i'm usually super good with getting out every little last bit but I had it like tipped upside down and I have these like nails on. They're like Halloween nails. Impress, Dashing Diva, love these nails, love them. So um, I didn't really scrape this out, but I got my use. We're done with it. I love the fragrance. It was super good. One of the girls I work with absolutely loves this scent. So I gave her one of these when I bought all of them. Um, but yeah, I don't believe I have any more products other than the fine fragrance mist in this scent. And I'm okay with that. It's just another pumpkin scent. I don't think it's super special, something that I'm like, oh my gosh, that's a scent. You know. Okay. I have a Dove um, spray deodorant. I'm not going to repurchase these anymore. I got this one for $3.99, which is a really good deal for the size, but I just feel like I sweat more with these and they just don't last as long and I hate spraying it. It's super cold. So yeah. And Jared was not, he was gravitating towards like the solid deodorant. So, cause he used to like these. Yeah, no, I think we're over this. So not buying those anymore. I'm glad I don't have any backups. Finally finished up my beach nights. I believe I showed last month my empties from this. You'll, you'll, you'll usually notice with me that my fine fragrance mists are like the last of the set to go. I'm honestly surprised that we have this white pumpkin and chai like with the body lotion because that really never happens. I usually use the body lotion or body cream like way before the mist is used up. But yeah, so the other two empties were from last month and then now we finally finished up this beach nights. Like I said, I really, really, really enjoyed this. I have a whole other set that's in my bathroom, not in my shower getting used, but it's in my bathroom caddy to eventually use. And I wanted to grab for that as soon as I finish this up. So that's how you know something's good because for me, it's usually like, okay, like I'm down to here. I'm over the fragrance. Like, let's try something new. No, I wanted to grab another one of these because it was really good. And I have a lot, a lot of backups of beach nights because they were at the outlets. So we don't have a shortage of that um i finished up the it cosmetic superhero mascara as you guys 
probably know I talked about it recently. Um, I've just found that this is my new favorite mascara. Uh, this is the wand. It doesn't look like anything special, but I, when I tell you it gets in those lashes, it coats your lashes, three, four coats of this, and oh my gosh, I'm loving, loving this. So I bought on QVC. They had a super good deal. I got like six of these for like 50 bucks or 40 bucks. Like I got a really good deal. So I have so many of these now that I can use up, which I'm so excited about because they're expensive and I don't want to just buy one at a time. But I also don't like having a bunch because I'm scared they'll dry up, but I'm just not opening them and we're just gonna, I have a bunch of them now and I love that mascara. It's the best. So if you haven't tried it, definitely, definitely try it. The girl at work was like, I need to know what that is. I need to get it. I don't know if she, I don't think she ever got it yet, but um, yeah, I'm using a different mascara today. So don't look at my lashes. <laughs> uh, this is the Bath & Body Works Vanilla Mocha Cafe. This is from the 2020 packaging. So we've had this for a hot minute. I absolutely loved this packaging, but they've re-released this scent and like three new names and packagings that I have all of them. I have so much of this scent. And honestly, I wish I wouldn't have gone that crazy because even though it's like a coffee scent, which I love coffee, obviously, um, it's not that special. It's not that deep. Like I <laughs> bought way too much of it before ever even freaking using it, which is the habit that I need to get out of. Like I need to use something to see if it's repurchase worthy before I just start going crazy. So this, when I was in the shower, I had this like epiphany. You're gonna think I'm crazy. Vanilla Mocha Cafe that has notes of cozy cappuccino, vanilla orchid, and white tonka bean. This in the shower has a really weird note. And I was like, what is that weird note? I still don't know what the note is from like these scent notes because it, it doesn't smell like any of those. It's like a weird fruity note. My epiphany is that this smells like a pineapple upside down cake. Call me crazy. If you have this, please, in the shower gel, because I don't know how the body lotion or mitt, well, I do know how the mist smells. This mist does not smell like this, so I know that. <clears throat> this in the shower smells like pineapple upside down cake. Please use it, please let me know, because honestly, that sounds spot on. Like, when you smell it and you think that, sorry if I just ruined this for you guys, if you don't like pineapple upside down cake, I luckily love it. But I was getting out of the shower and using things like this, which are super gourmand and like cinnamony. And this wasn't that in the shower. It was so weird. So because of the new like repackages and stuff, I'm really actually intrigued to use this in the shower in one of those new repackagings, which actually now that I'm thinking of it, I don't even know if I have a shower gel in the new packagings. The vanilla mocha martini, I actually don't think I even have a shower gel of. I think I only have lotions and mists. I don't know why. That's, yeah, so maybe I want, I know I have more of this packaging. Um, but yeah, if you have this, let me know if you feel the same because I just thought that was really funny. Okay, next, Enchanted Candy Potion. This smelled really good. It has notes of spellbinding sugar, bewitched berries, and whipped pixie dust. My, my fine fragrance mist has a lot of life left to it yet, so you won't see that yet. I like this. It was like a better version of, it smells like cotton candy. And in my opinion, it smells like a better version of, um, what is it? Clouds? What am I trying to say? Oh my gosh. You know what I'm trying to say. The scent that Bath & Body Works comes out with, it's like cotton candy. This was a better version of it, in my opinion. I really, really enjoyed it. Um, but my husband, on the other hand, hated this. I really don't know why. I tried to get it out of him, but when I would come to bed, he'd be like, babe, no, no. And I'm like, what? And he's like, that's just not good. Please don't wear that. And I'm like, why are you so opinionated about this one? Because like, I'll wear other fragrances and for two months, he'll never make a comment on it. I'm, I'm, I'm always asking him like, I come to bed smelling like something different every night. Do you like things? Do you not? He's like, I mean, you always smell good. And I'm like, but every night I probably smell so different. And you never really say anything. But with this, he just didn't like it. Which is so weird to me. Maybe it wasn't good on my skin chemistry. Because I really can't notice that. 
maybe that's what he was getting so i don't know here's the body cream this was super yellow we had like it's gotten more yellow it always does that when you cut it open so like this is kind of deceiving because i feel like it was not this yellow when i had it like squeezing out before i cut it but it was yellow because we had white sheets on our bed and jared's like um you got yellow all over the sheets i'm like sorry about that it's only on my side but yeah this did turn my sheets yellow we have gray sheets now so we're okay um this took me a few months to go through and i surprisingly really enjoyed it i've had this for an embarrassingly long amount of time with like ipsy and boxy charm and stuff this is the pure lease blue lotus cleansing milk i use this as a makeup remover because that's kind of what it's intended to do and it did great i'm using an oil right now that i've also had for a long time i'm getting through my stuff i'm doing good obviously um i like this better than i like the oil and this was like a milky consistency. I really, really enjoyed this if I ever were to see it again. Because now I'm resubscribed to Ipsy. Super exciting. I just got the Icon Box uh, picks. So I'll be getting that soon. And I will definitely do a video on that. Um, but yeah, I would get that again. This, weird empty, I know. It's because it's not empty. It's a sponge. Um, this was a uh, Real Technique sponge, okay? I loved it. I loved how pretty it was. I loved how pretty it was. Let's leave it at that. Okay, when I took it out of the packaging, though, I noticed this little black thing. It's, like, plasticky. I don't know what that is and why I got a sponge with that in it. It's not supposed to be in there. I went to use this. This ain't... I thought this was going to be just like the regular Real Technique sponges, which are so good. No, the texture of this is so much more dense, and it's awful. This is atrocious. Don't buy this. I used it, like, once, maybe twice, and I'm like... I don't know what this is, but it's trash. So don't get that. It's pretty, but it's not the same as the orange one. Finished up a perfume. I've been using this for a while. This is the Estee Lauder uh, Beautiful Belle Love. Um, I got this when I worked at the Estee Lauder counter at Macy's. Um, I can't get that last little bit because the straw doesn't go the whole way to the bottom. This was so good. Love it. I won't repurchase because their perfumes are insanely expensive. But yeah, geez. Okay, here we have a wallflower and a wallflower plug. This was supposed to be a flamingo. It broke off. I used this wallflower like plug for a while and I'm like, this is so stupid. It looks dumb. Um, I just, I used it in my bedroom, but I don't need it. I have other ones, so I've replaced it. I don't know what this is. I know I liked it, whatever it was. Mary Mabel bourbon. Yeah, I really liked this when it was in my, um, when it was, hello <laughs> when it was in my bedroom okay i have two deodorants dove they're my favorite my husband's favorite carrot coconut and cool essentials a cucumber these are so good so good um i used to have a makeup wipe from the hotel room don't know why that's in here why is this in here this isn't supposed to be in here ignore that um oh i have been going through skincare i've been using it my old stuff i'm getting new stuff from ipsy i freaking love it i've been using so many different things in my face and it's been so much fun it is so much fun for me i know it's just skincare but i'm really enjoying it so i've had this for so long please don't judge me if you've known when this is from i got it in an ipsy or something this is the skin ink supplement bar my daily dose serum cocktail um, it says expires 11 November of 23. So go you page, you used it before you, it expired, which I know I've had this for three, four years. So that's weird that it expired that long. Like, you know, this was a clear serum that had like these little beads in it. They were like blue, per blue pink beads with this little dropper. Um, I just poured the rest of it out, used it on my face. I didn't notice any differences with it. The beads were on my face when I would rub it in. Like they did kind of break up. But yeah, nothing special. I don't know what serum in this serum cocktail, what serums are in this serum cocktail, but I used it up. I used up a freaking uh, serum. <laughs> so that's cool. There's hair to this, but this is the orange ones from Real Techniques that I love. But this one is super old. So that's done. Um, I have some pocket bags. I have one from my wedding that has my wedding label thingy on it, but I believe there's some left in here. I believe this is, I have no idea actually. I don't know what this is. It's cucumber melon. Strawberry pound cake, white pumpkin. This was way too strong for me. I did not like that. 
Oh, I used up a moisturizer. Guys, you are not used to seeing these in my empties. Uh, this is the Tarte drink of H2O. I've had this for so long. It's disgusting. It says you should only have it open for six months. And I know it's been a lot longer than that. This was on like the last little leg. And I'm like, why am I holding on to this? Because like, I only have like probably a week's, a, a week's worth of usage left. So I finally pulled it out, just used it. It was like a clearish um, moisturizer. It does have a scent to it, which is kind of weird. If you can see, that's like what the, what it looked like. Um, I didn't really like this. I would not repurchase it at all, but I got it in an Ipsy or in one of the Tarte like makeup bags that you can get where you like pick your items. Um, this is kind of sad. Kat Von D ink liner. This was totally dried up and I don't even think I ever used it or maybe I did. Like it's like a super light gray now. So it's not even pigmented, but when you hold on to this stuff, it dries up without you even using it. So that's my fault. I've had it for so long. I never use liquid liner, but I was like kind of going through it through it. Like I've been enjoying using my makeup and stuff again. So I've been pulling out my liquid liners and I pulled them all out, tried them and realized how many I have that are dried up. Here's another one, Kat Von D tattoo liner in the full size. Ink liner and tattoo liner. Well, that probably tells you how old this stuff is because I guarantee, oh no, they're both Kat Von D. I was thinking maybe when they rebranded to like KVD that these were different names. I don't know. They're both in Trooper Black, but the uh, the full size is kind of a little bit darker, but it skips so bad. It's not worth it. Makeup empty. NYX Bear With Me. Whoa. Bear with me concealer serum. It's a little pump, so it was super fun to watch the product like go up, 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 up until it was finally finished. I did repurchase this. Don't know where my repurchase is. I'm using a NARS concealer that I bought for my wedding last year um, just because I don't want it to go bad and I have it. I think all my other concealers are new. So, well, I'm just using my NARS one right now. So that's what I'm wearing today and I love it. Uh, my mascara is transferring. Anyways, this... It's so good. I love it. It's so lightweight, but full coverage doesn't crease. 10 out of 10. Another skincare. What's going on? Um, this is the La Roche Posay. You guys know that I had, like, I found this brand, loved it. I cut it open, used every little bit of this. This was a 2.5 fluid ounce in the Tolerane Double Repair Matte Moisturizer. So you guys know the white, it's like a 1.7. The white ones the matte whatever it keeps my skin matte all day and i love it i've repurchased it like four times but it's a smaller size so i was like oh this one says a matte moisturizer i wonder how good this is because it's a bigger size for a cheaper value like it's cheaper um and it's just a nice squeeze out you know use it it's just a like it, it should be a good moisturizer i did not like this i would not repurchase this it felt heavy on my skin, so when I woke up, I felt greasy. Didn't like that. Um, it was nothing special. It did not keep me matte. I liked that I got like this for like 20 some dollars probably, and it took me a long time to go through, but I was just really wanting to try something different, and I'm trying a Murad facial moisturizer right now, and I love that. I love it. It makes my skin feel so good. So that's how I know, like, I wanted this to be done and I was so happy to use something else and that something else is really good. So I, I don't like this. I wouldn't repurchase. I love you, La Roche Posay, but that's just not it. Okay, um, another pocket back in Enchanted Candy Potion. We were using all the Halloween things. I have some more Halloween stuff in my shower that I'm using up. Um, you'll see that next month in the empties. I just... I want it like Halloween's on the 31st so I was trying to like push it to then but now like I'm sick I've been using something that makes me feel better like with my sickness you'll see what I mean in my empties next month um but yeah so I just haven't been reaching for it because I want to enjoy it when my nose is not all stuffed up so yeah you'll see more Halloween empties next month but life is sweet bubble gum this I like it I have I have other one like I, I bought a bunch of these um because it's a really cool scent but very very bubble gummy I don't really know why I'm complaining about that but damn <laughs> here's a shampoo from a hotel who cares um I put in pumpkin pecan waffles in my car best wallflower or wallflower best car fragrance refill known to mankind it lasts forever it smells so good literally when it was on its last leg like i just replaced this one 
I don't know what this one is, but uh, that's the first one that I put this in and now I have a new one in it. When I was ready to change this out, I was at work and this girl, like, she came, well, this girl, she's my friend. She came up to my window when I pulled into work and was just like talking to me, whatever. Um, and she like, as soon as I put my window down, she's like, oh my gosh, it smells like cinnamon toast crunch in here. And I was like, really? And she's like, yeah. And it's so weird. Cause like, I was like, oh, this one's like dying out. Cause I blast the heat in my car when it's cold. Um, and I like knew that I wasn't smelling it like I used to. And I don't think I'm nose blind to it. I think it just literally is going away but she could still smell it which was super cool because I had it in for a while and as you know like a lot of people don't like the car fragrance thingies from Bath and Body Works because they just say they like don't last pumpkin pecan waffles is the one you need if you like gourmand scents you like pumpkin pecan waffles because who doesn't know what that smells like um that's the one you need to get I buy so many of them when they're on a good deal okay next I used up this Aveda Nutra Plenish leave-in conditioner I've been getting a bunch of sample thingies from Ulta because when they had like their hair care event, I just kept buying stuff. Um, I spent a lot of money during that time um, at Ulta, but this was one of the samples I got. I'm saving my other samples for when I go on my trips and stuff because I was kind of like, wait a minute, Paige, why are you using minis at home? I get it, to try it out, but also I have so many full-size things. I need to use those and I'll use the minis when I go on trips because... Not to like sound, this is going to sound stupid and kind of conceding. Um, I go on a lot of trips and I don't mean to say that. I mean, to some, it might not be a lot. To me, it's a lot. <sighs> Sorry, I just have to blow my nose. Um, compared to like the people that I work with and like my friends that I know, I have a lot of friends that won't travel to other countries. Um, and I've only been to Mexico twice. I've only been out of the country twice. And they've been for like wedding and honeymoon anniversary type trips like they're planned trips um but I go on a lot of weekend getaways too like we're gonna go to Pittsburgh to stay before we go to Florida we're going to Florida with his mom so it's very inexpensive for us to go and I luckily get a what I think is a good amount of PTO at my work and I can kind of like shift my schedule to have days off at like today um so I do go on a, a decent amount of trips and I know that will stop or it will slow down which is okay. It will slow down when I have a kid. I mean, we'll take our kid like a lot of places, but no, we won't be going to as many. We won't be going to Mexico probably for a while um, or things like that. But you get what I'm saying. Um, so we're trying to just, I know it's a little silly, waste all your money going on trip, not wasting, but you know, spending a lot of money going on like little trips here and there. Like we're going to New York. I really want to go to Vegas before we have a baby. Um, so like, I save my money and like those are things that are so worth it to me to spend money on. So I go on a lot of trips. I need a lot of samples. I need stuff to just take to a hotel room for a night or two or whatever we're doing. So yeah, so I need to save my minis for that because it's very annoying taking full size products. I enjoy that I can because on a plane you can't, um, but I enjoy it taking minis and trying new things. But when you don't like them, it sucks. Anyways, I never even said what I feel about this. I would not repurchase this. I like my Bumble and Bumble primer oil a lot better than this. Because I'm always int intrigued about Aveda products. Actually, I think I got this off Ipsy. I have no idea. Anyways, wouldn't repurchase that. Uh, my last empty, a makeup one. Saving best for last because this was impressive. This is the CoverGirl Clean Fresh Powder in 120 Fair Claire. The Magnet or like claspy thingy. I think it's supposed to be like a clasp broke off a long time ago. Um, I'm using a loose powder now that is supposed to like keep your skin matte and I feel like I'm very oily at the end of the day, which it, it probably lasts, it makes me less, anyways, we're not talking about that one. We're talking about this one. This was to give me a little bit of extra coverage. I did enjoy it. I wouldn't repurchase because I have so many powders that I need to get through and want to try. This is not, like, I think I got this at TJ Maxx. So probably paid five bucks for it or something like that. And it lasted me a while and I enjoyed it. There was no, nothing I didn't like other than the fact that my dumbass dropped it, broke the packaging. And then um, when I had pan, I think it did shatter at the end, but it was like very minimal paint, like a very minimal product left. Um, so it just broke. And you're kind of going to get that with pretty much every powder you use. Like right now my highlighter shattered because once you get that pan, like it just, 
doesn't hold up like it used to. So yeah, um, for as minimal, in my opinion, as this empties is, we made this video go on for 50 minutes, but yeah. Um, so not super impressive in the world of like Bath and Body Works products because I only used one Bath and Body Works candle, two shower gels, two mists, and a lotion, and a body cream. So I feel like I usually use like a lot more stuff, but you know, I've, I've been sick, I've been working a lot, and yeah, I have a lot of things that are on their last leg, so that's good for me for next month. But I finished up a lot of like skincare and makeup items, which is super cool. Like those are things that take a lot longer to use up, you know? So that's very impressive in my eyes. So yeah, I will see you guys next time. And please forgive me for the videos you're gonna see of me blonde that I recorded months ago that I just never posted. Um, so yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Bye.